<laughs> oh yeah, it's that time again, isn't it? That's right, folks. It's freaking Halloween. Let's get in on looking at Hallow's End in World of Warcraft. So, by the roar of the jack-o'-lantern fire that I'm standing right next to, everyone's probably wondering why I'm sitting around watching people come to this, uh, well, you know, burning jack-o'-lantern. Essentially, World of Warcraft celebrates a, well, a sort of end-of-summer festival called Hallow's End, during which the Headless Horseman comes by and sets villages aflame. Oh, well, there goes his head. After he is slain, which he was, like, there, like, some five minutes ago or so, People then are able to. The bells have told. Shelter your weak, your young, and your old. Oh. Each of you shall pay the final sum. Cry for mercy. The reckoning has come. Well, it looks like I came at the right time. <laughs> the headless horseman is riding through town. This is Brill, right outside of the underhill. I'm going to chase him down here. I might even uh, uh, attempt to affect. Uh, uh, put out of the fires here. Basically, anyone who's played this particular little event, uh, jack-o'-lanterns get tossed down, and the Headless Horseman, the guy on the green uh, mount that you saw charging past there, throws down fires that then light the various uh, buildings on fire. Since this is very early in the event, there's a ridiculous number of people. There's several ways that this could be done. One of them is you rush up here, you collect a bucket from the... Bob, the apple bobbing. Then you run over here and you throw. You know, let me, I have to turn on my, uh, yeah, eh. I'll do that in a moment. You grab a bucket and you lob it onto the building to put out the fires. As, oh, I see his shadow. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. If you, if you go into the instance where you have to kill Mr. Headless Horseman, you get a chance to kill him for that mount, in fact, and it is flying. It's a flying horse mount with green hooves. Now, Headless Horsemen actually show up in a lot of northern mythology. I'm going to let these people do this over here. I already helped them with the last one. I already have the achievement that comes with defeating him by putting out the fires here in Brill. As I said, Headless Horsemen show up in a lot of northern European mythology, especially the myth of the Gankan or Dulahan, which is from Celtic mythology, who is an Itsuli fairy who happens to ride a horse, has no head, except, well, he does have a head, it's just decapitated, and he holds it under one arm, that often sometimes he holds over his head in order to see further distances. I'm trying to get a good look at him here. This is not quite the interesting mount there. This is not quite connected entirely to the, the jack-o'-lantern mythology, I should point out. The jack-o'-lantern mythology is also uh, shows up in a lot of northern. Uh, the sky is dark. The fire burns. You strive in vain as fate's wheel turns. I figured I'd let him shout there so that you guys could hear him yelling. Anyone who hasn't played the game, this event is really fun. It's it's it depends a lot on teamwork. See, people can grab the the bucket and they can throw it to people in the field who can then throw it on the fire with a daisy chain of people forming sort of a fire bucket brigade you can put out the fires extremely quickly and that may take a lot of people as i was saying about jack-o-lanterns that's another tradition of a lot of northern european cultures who believed that during the hallows end period well at least halloween or seven would place the souls of those who had died that year and carry them across the landscape to... I shouldn't stand there. I don't want anyone thinking that I'm helping them. Otherwise, they'll throw a bucket at me and I won't be able to help. To carry the souls of the dearly departed to, well, to the other world. And normally, though, they wouldn't use pumpkins because pumpkins were not native to Ireland or Wales or even Europe until they were discovered later. Instead, they were using gourds, or in fact, they were using turnips. Oh, look at this. So, we have pumpkins showing up in uh, locations across Azeroth, including B Brill, that are carved to look like jack-o'-lanterns. There's that one that looks like it's been carved to look like 
a uh, Cyclops. There's this one that's much more standard. We have uh, ghosts hanging from, well, nooses in front of the different locations. And if you go to the inn, you will go inside and you'll discover that there is a jack-o'-lantern in there that is accessible that can... Yep. This, you can get treats out of it. Uh, I have, and those treats are part of a long-winded quest. Oh. A cleansing fire! Time is short! I'll soon retire! Perhaps I should have helped these folks out because now they're probably close to failing. Okay, we've got brooms and we've got these lovely candles here. And these amusing little two-dimensional paper cutout skeletons. That's kind of funny in a village that's uh, all covered in undead already. You'd think that they would have a different sort of festival attitude. But this is all taken from the contemporary celebration of Halloween, which includes the jack-o'-lanterns, includes skeletal remnants, it includes brooms and witches and etc. Speech. Speaking of witches, we have our lovely dark lady right here, and she's wearing um, a large brim, pointy witch's hat. Uh, I can't get a good look at it from this distance. Let me move a little bit further away to get a good look at her. Look at that. It's awesome. Also during this event, you are invited to attack and take I down... Die. Let not a spark. I shall send you myself to the lifeless dark. Oh, now he lands. Where? Where is he? Where is he? I see a shadow. He comes down, and he has no head, of course, and then everyone has to attack. And because everyone here is ridiculously leveled, they cut him down in no time at all. He laughs about it, and just to bring the video for cir full circle, here it is again. Here's our flaming jack-o'-lantern. Once that's left on the ground, everyone rushes to it, gets the quest part of it. They have to return it to the matron here, and that ends the defense of Brill. I haven't been able to get into the dungeon quest that involves going and killing the... Uh, the horseman himself, which leads you into, which before took you into the graveyard of the Scarlet Monastery, which is way over there somewhere. And as a result, I don't have any film of that for you. However, if I come back and I discover that that's filmable, I'll go run that and I'll tag it on the end and show everyone what the fight is like fighting him there and the sort of things that he shouts and everyone say hi to Yule, the animal that took me forever to get. Meanwhile, I hope everyone that watches this has a lovely Halloween when it rolls around, a wonderful seven, and to everyone else, good night and good dreams. Well, I just witnessed a rousing speech by Lady Sylvanas as to why they burned the Wicker Man here in Undercity. And, by the way, if you made it this far, be sure to leave me a like, because obviously you've been enjoying what I've been doing. And we're going to sign off here in front of the Burning Wicker Men, which Lady Sylvanas explains is burned as a testament to the victory over old enemies. And that includes such enemies as the Lich King, who perished horribly in World of Warcraft's last scenario, or episode, or chapter, whatever we want to call them nowadays. I think the Wicker Man is an interesting affect of Halloween culture because I come from a community who, where we actually do burn little straw men as part of our seven ceremony, as a sort of reconciliation of the end of the year, since Hallow's End, Halloween, and Concost and Seven are essentially the end of the year, when everything dies, the leaves fall from the trees, snow falls and kills the earth. Well, to the rest of you, I'm going to continue on with other examples of what MMOs are doing for the Halloween season. To the rest of you, if you've been enjoying Halloween events in a game, uh, tell me about it in the comments. Meanwhile, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or someone will come by and extinguish your wicker man.